So I actually told myself I was not gonna film this because it really is that bad. Hi there, I'm Alexandra Beter and welcome to a pure chaos decluttering video. Also, thank you to Durable for sponsoring this video. Guys, this is probably like the most insane declutter I have ever shared with you. And we're gonna rearrange, we're gonna do so many different things. I'm gonna explain how it got to this point because I feel like that is important. So if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and let's get into it. All right, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> And I've got a lot of explaining to do. I honestly feel like you can't even see how bad it is from here, which is somewhat intentional because it really is that embarrassing. But we're gonna figure this out together and I'm gonna tell you why this all happened right now. Oh my gosh, where do I even begin, you guys? Literally, it looks like there was an explosion in here, and there kind of was. So a lot of you guys know, I recently launched house2homedecor.com. It's my online home decor store. And, okay, like, what do I even say? There are so many different things I want to tell you about this, but essentially the first launch was amazing and wild and crazy, and it just took a lot longer than I was expecting to package everything, make sure it was perfect, and I just got to the point where I just literally let things go because I didn't know what else to do, so really stressful really overwhelming but also just so worth it and so exciting and just the start of something amazing so yeah i was ready for the launch it was neat organized and then it suddenly was not once it was very overwhelming with a lot of orders so today we are starting a three-day process of getting this space back on track and i am just going to tell you all about it as we work through this So as you can see, we are getting this decluttering process started by breaking down a ton of packaging. I held on to tons and tons of things that I just essentially wasn't sure if I was going to need or not and I didn't end up needing any of this. So realistically, I could have gotten rid of it a long time ago, but I just wasn't sure until I was through the first launch exactly what to expect. And guys, there are so many things I could say about House to Home Decor, but um, essentially, I really wanted to start this just like 100% fully on my own because this is a long term thing for me and I want to like fully own it. It'd be mine, no, you know, partnering or anything like that because I want to make all the decisions and pick things out and source them and touch them and make sure that I approve and like and all of that. So, um, definitely starting out, you know, it's not easy in a hard way, but I know it'll be worth it in the long run. And with this setup, I'm going to do like a semi temporary setup because I definitely don't plan to have it here forever, but I really wanted to start out that way just so, you know, it's fully my thing. Thing. And I'm gonna be rearranging this room just to make it a lot more practical for the next launch because you know as we saw this first one did turn into a disaster So I need a setup that's gonna be a lot more accommodating to the needs
So we are gonna do some rearranging, like a mini makeover on the layout in here. I of course seem to be a lot more organized right now, but I also need to be a lot more functional and have the space more functional, I should say. So what I'm gonna do is push the bed all the way to the left against the wall, bring the buffet over to the right side. That way the room is like split up 50-50 instead of having a little bit of everything everywhere. And believe it or not, we are down to the final boxes. Did you ever think we'd make it here? Cause girl, I was not sure. I am so relieved though to start seeing the space look so much better. And I'm gonna put all the shipping boxes on the very top of these little stands here, these towers. I don't know, I cannot think of the names, the shelves essentially. I have learned so much throughout this process, guys. Like shelving for a clothing store is typically about $100 a rack, but these ones are heavy duty, obviously for much heavier items. So they're about $300 a rack, like three times the price. So many things are definitely a lot more expensive with home decor and fragile items but it is worth it because we all know I am so obsessed with this kind of thing and I'm just so obsessed with just like making sure everything is perfect and that I know how to do it before anyone else is like you know helping with it so I started out with the products priced literally the lowest price I was legally allowed to sell them for like girl I am in it to just make like such a great store for our customers and I'm just so excited to build it and grow it and learn all the things so now I have everything off the buffet I vacuumed a little bit over here tons of packaging was on the floor as you guys saw so I can start to pull things around to the other side of the room and all of these things were so heavy but girl I figured it out on my own no you couldn't stand tall so why didn't you why didn't you call so many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? And since I just want this whole room really clean and fresh, I'm gonna take this bedding off even though it all is very clean and no one slept on it, but there was just a lot of packaging obviously, so it needs to be washed. And then I'm also going to be doing a lot of vacuuming like literally over and over again in the same areas just because as I was moving things and rearranging, there would be like random pieces of packaging that would fall on the floor. So as you know, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. So I wanted to take a quick second to share Durable with you, which I seriously love. They are the leading AI website builder and business platform that helps entrepreneurs start, build, and grow. And they're on a mission to make being a solopreneur easier than working for somebody else, which you know I love. No coding, no technical skills required, like literally could not be easier. And I just wanted to walk you through the process of creating my website. It was so simple, it took less than a minute. So they just ask you a little bit of information about what you do that helps to generate the style of your website and then you just go through and customize it so here's the before and then here is me in the process just writing everything out I wanted to create a website that acted as a portfolio and showcased a little bit of everything I do the YouTube Instagram house to home decor and influencer launch pad and I even imported the feed of my Instagram here isn't that cool and then house to home decor and launch pad at the bottom so go to durable.co forward slash Alexandra to start building your website for free and then when you're ready to publish it just use my code Alexandra30 to save 30% off your first three months on any plan. Can 
so moving this bed was obviously not easy. It was so heavy. And I found some mirrors under here that I was storing that I forgot about. Who remembers in the old house, I had those mirrors on either side of our bed with a gold edge. They almost have like a Beauty and the Beast vibe to me, honestly. They're really pretty, just like simple, almost a gold leaf edge around them. And I really love this shape, a little bit of an oval, but um, with some extra shape and detail to them. So I need to find somewhere in this house to put those. If you know, then you know. They're so pretty. I just, I didn't have space in our bedroom here to put them on either side of the bed, but they're so pretty. I couldn't let them go. So now that I have the bed against the wall, I'm going to bring that buffet over and we're going to do a little store setup over here. So the buffet is going to hold a few different things. It's going to be the label printer, the regular printer printer for the packing slips, a space for my laptop to plug everything in, and then the custom tape and scissors and pens and pencils, those kind of things. I also have been doing um, a handwritten thank you note with every order. I'm going to do that as long as I can. So I'm going to have all of those supplies on there as well. And then on the smaller thing, I'm going to have the station to weigh everything. So I know how much to weigh to print the shipping slips. There's a lot of different steps that go into um, this whole thing so we're gonna make it a little more functional over here by having it so close to the inventory feeling so much better about this space. All of those extra jars that are not with the rest of the inventory are either slightly damaged or very damaged. If something's not perfect, obviously I would never send it to anyone. So there were a few things that arrived to me as slightly damaged that I was refunded for. And then a couple things that I broke that obviously I was not refunded for. So girl, I gotta be careful. I cannot do anything too fast because obviously I don't want to damage any products. I just broke down all of this cardboard. If it doesn't look like a lot, I promise you it is. Every box is so stuffed. And this is probably maybe half of it or a little bit less. When I told you in my last video, I was crying. Girl, this is just like one one hundredth of the things I've been working on. I'm so relieved to be at this point. I have almost everything out of here and cleaned out. So I'm gonna start doing some inventory things and I just want to double check the inventory I have on my computer is accurate to what I physically have. And I wanna make some room for a lot of other house home decor products that are scattered throughout storage in our house that I haven't had room for in here to try and get as much of it in here as possible. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shift everything to the left, count everything. And I'm so happy that we are this far, you guys. Don't wanna say goodbye here. Want your skin on my skin. Just one last time, if I can't have you, babe. I don't want no.
So this day got a little crazy because I was trying to get this done before Forrest was done with school and that did not happen. So uh, I had to figure it out, have him, you know, think he's helping me sort of thing to get all of this done, get orders out and make it happen. It was not easy. And I've tried this before, but like one of the main mission statements and just things I want to do with house home decor is provide jobs for moms who need flexible schedules around school schedules. And here I am like rushing so, so bad to try and get things done before a school pickup. I thought that was funny, but um, I'm continuing to count everything and move it all to the left. I need at least one rack open right now for other products just so I can have like the vast majority of things in one area. So I'm just trying to go through everything one by one, wiping everything down, making sure it's all perfect and good to go as I organize from left to right. Hey girl, it's the next day. I'm standing strategically because on this side of the shelves are some future launch products. I'm trying not to spoil the surprise. Um, I just need to pack up two orders real quick, so I figured we'd do that together. And this was such a waste of money, but I had to buy some bubble wrap at Target. It was $16 for this small thing of bubble wrap. So I need to go online and I need to find some packing supplies in bulk because I just ran out. Um, and I love uh, like I'm excited to show you packing orders now that we have a new little setup over here It's not perfect in here. I want it to look you know a lot different, but obviously this is like a temporary thing So I'm not trying to put too much into it at the same time Every time I'm going out the same things keep happening new boy same tricks And since we started with the pure chaos, not even being able to walk in here, I wanted to finish it up showing you the whole process of why I needed to do this anyway, aside from the fact that it was just absolute chaos and not like acceptable. <laughs> I just needed it to be able to do this, which I'm so excited about. All of those stars in the back there, the damaged ones, um, I use around my own house to decorate. Then I just have the chips literally on the back because they're too beautiful to just throw away. Here's some packages that were going out in the mail and I'm just so excited to have this space a lot more functional now. All right, guys, that's going to be pretty much everything for today's video. I have recent videos down below, also durable house to home decor and so much more. So check out that description box. Let me know what you want to see in my next video. It seems like you are very into decluttering right now. So if that's the case, give this a like because I have seriously never ending things I can declutter. So thanks again for watching. I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.